The following contains graphic and possibly disturbing imagery. Viewer discretion is advised. Michelle and the shocking true story from the exorcism of Emily Rose. Though many may not know it, the horrifying events of the 2005 film The Exorcism of Emily Rose were not entirely fictional but rather were based on the actual experiences of a German girl named Annalise Michelle. Annalise Michelle grew up devoutly Catholic in Bavaria, West Germany in the 1960s where she attended mass twice a week. When Annalise was 16, she suddenly blacked out at school and began walking around dazed. Though Annalise did not remember the event, her friends and family said she was in a trance-like state. A year later, Annalise experienced a similar occurrence where she woke up in a trance and wet her bed. Her body also went through a series of convulsions, causing her body to shake uncontrollably. After the second time, Annalise visited a neurologist who diagnosed her with temporal lobe epilepsy, a disorder that causes seizures, loss of memory, and experiencing visual and auditory hallucinations. Temporal lobe epilepsy can also cause Geschwind syndrome, a disorder marked by hyper-religiosity. After her diagnosis, Annalise began taking medication for her epilepsy and enrolled in the University of Würzburg in 1973. However, the drug she was given failed to help her, and as the year progressed, her condition began to deteriorate. Though she was still taking her medication, Annalise began to believe that she was possessed by a demon and that she needed to find a solution outside of medicine. She began to see the face of the devil wherever she went, and she said she heard demons whispering in her ears. When she heard demons telling her she was damned and would rot in hell while she was praying, she concluded the devil must be possessing her. Annalise sought out priests to help her with her demonic possession, but all the clergy she approached rejected her request, saying that she should seek medical help and that they needed the permission of a bishop anyway. At this point, Annalise's delusions had become extreme. Believing she was possessed, she ripped the clothes off her body, compulsively performed up to 400 squats a day, crawled under a table, barked like a dog for two days. She also ate spiders and coal, bit the head off of a dead bird, and licked her own urine from the floor. Finally, she and her mother found a priest, Ernest Alt, who believed in her possession. He stated that she didn't look like an epileptic in later court documents. Annalise wrote to Alt, I am nothing. Everything about me is vanity. What should I do? I have to improve. You pray for me. And also once told him, I want to suffer for other people. But this is so cruel. Alt petitioned the local bishop, Bishop Joseph Stangle, who eventually approved the request and granted a local priest, Arnold Wren's, permission to perform an exorcism, but ordered that it be carried out in total secret. Over the next 10 months following the bishop's approval of Annalise's exorcism, Alton Renz conducted 67 exorcisms lasting up to four hours on the young woman. Through these exorcism sessions, Annalise revealed that she believed she was possessed by five demons, Lucifer, Cain, Judas, Hitler, and Nero. All these spirits would jostle for power over Annalise's body and would communicate through her mouth with a low growl. Throughout these sessions, Annalise would frequently talk about dying to atone for the wayward youth of the day and to apostate the priests of the modern church. She broke the bones and ripped the tendons in her knees from continually kneeling in prayer. Over these 10 months, Annalise was frequently restrained so the priests could conduct exorcism rites. She slowly stopped eating and she eventually died of malnutrition and dehydration on July 1st. 1976. She was just 23 years old. Courtesy of all that's interesting.com. UFO sighting over Canada is proof aliens are monitoring Earth's technology. 
A strange picture is making its rounds on the internet, which appears to show a classic disc UFO flying over the Canadian capital, Ottawa. The sighting was made by an unsuspecting individual who spotted it over the Yao Ottawa airport, claiming it was unlike anything they have ever observed. Confused by the UFO sighting, the individual submitted their image to UFO investigation network, MUFON. An eyewitness statement said when taking a photo of the sunset clouds at Yao Ottawa Airport, I observed an anomaly in my photo. I took multiple photos in a short time. The object appeared in the upper left. No other photos contained the object. Lens was checked and found to be clean. Zoomed in on the object and was surprised to find a defined shape. I am a lifelong airplane enthusiast and have never observed anything like this. Conspiracy theorists quickly picked up on the image, claiming it is undeniable proof of an alien visitor. Self-titled UFO expert Scott C. Waring posted the image on his blog, ET Database, stating that aliens are interested in humans' aviation technology. Mr. Waring said, here is a great photo of a disc from the side. The object was seen flying near an airport in Ottawa and is tilted so that we can see part of its bottom. The disc has a hump in its upper center similar to classic discs, but flat on the bottom. This is further proof that UFOs take a high interest in airports. Since the newest technology is used to create today's jets and airliners. While the existence of aliens has never been confirmed. The U.S. Department of Defense has recently acknowledged a video from a U.S. Navy pilot's radar footage of a mystery UFO with a glowing aura and flying erratically. The video first circulated back in 2017, but it took the DOD three years to acknowledge the video's existence. According to Pentagon spokeswoman Sue Gao, the sighting was released in order to clear up any misconceptions by the public on whether or not the footage that has been circulating was real. She said after a thorough review, the department has determined that the authorized release of these unclassified videos does not reveal any sensitive capabilities or systems and does not impinge on any subsequent investigations of military airspace incursions by unidentified aerial phenomena. When the 2017 footage emerged, a former Pentagon employee, Luis Elizondo, who headed up a secret official UFO program, said it was compelling evidence we might not be alone in the universe. Mr. Elizondo said these aircraft, we'll call them aircraft, are displaying characteristics that are not currently within the U.S. inventory, nor in any foreign inventory that we are aware of. Things that don't have any obvious flight services any obvious forms of propulsion and maneuvering in ways that include extreme maneuverability beyond I would submit the healthy g-forces of a human or anything biological. Courtesy of express.co.uk Thought to be extinct for ages, rare gorillas captured on camera with babies. Rare gorillas previously thought to be extinct were photographed at Nigeria's mountains along with multiple babies. This is a major win for conservationists. In a fortunate rare sighting, conservationists have managed to capture images of a group of rare Cross River gorillas. According to reports, the gorillas were accompanied by multiple babies and were spotted in Nigeria's Mbe Mountains. The sightings gave conservationists the much needed proof about the survival of this rare subspecies of gorilla that was previously thought to be extinct. As per reports, at one point it was believed that only 300 of these Cross River gorillas existed in the isolated mountainous region in Nigeria and Cameroon. These gorillas was first captured back in May by the Wildlife Conservation Society. More color images were taken as recently as last June by trap cameras. The isolated mountainous region has 50 trap cameras that were installed in 2012. Since then, multiple images have been captured in Cameroon's Kigwini Gorilla Sanctuary, Nigeria's Mbe Mountains Community Forest, and Afi Mountain Wildlife Sanctuary. Despite certain sightings, the Cross River Gorillas have proved extremely elusive, and there have been no images of multiple infants. The Cross River Gorillas were at one point believed to be dead, 
and thus these new images are not only good news for the species, but also for community conservation projects, because nine local communities have been working together since the mid-1990s to ensure the survival of the species. Courtesy of RepublicWorld.com Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you hope to. Sleep tight. <laughs>